Hey everyone, it's Jaden here from Arcan RV Medicine Hat. Today I'm going to be walking you guys through our brand new RPOD 153. This one's the 2022. What's really nice about this, it is a shorter model, um, but they pack a lot into it. You do have your power tongue jack right on the front. Propane uh, that's connected right into the system with the cover on it. You do have the front windshield and what's nice about this one, it does have the acrylic window on it. So it's not gonna be an actual glass. Two reasons for that. One is gonna be any rocks coming from the road, it's less, less easier to shatter. So the acrylic's just gonna be a little bit more durable that way. Um, and it actually doesn't heat up as much. Uh, glass is gonna take that heat in from the outside and, and stay really hot. Where the acrylic just doesn't absorb that, so it kind of bounces off a little bit more, keeping the inside of the cab a little bit cooler for you. You do have the battery disconnect on this one, and this is gonna be that powder coated frame, so you're not gonna to have to worry about rusting over time. As you swing around the side, you'll see this big pass-through storage on the R-Pod, and this one's actually framed with a hollow aluminum. So sometimes you can see that hollow aluminum at the top of your pass-through storage. What that shows is the actual frame of it. So there's a hollow aluminum that goes around it, plus a styrofoam insulation. And what our pod actually does is they put an Asdel on instead of a Luon. So Luon is a wood paneling that you use for the structure of the wall, and then your fiberglass goes on top of that. The reason our pod uses Asdel is Asdel never absorbs water, it's just a plastic composite. So if you ever had a little bit of water that's trying to get into the wall, or maybe there's a seal that's a little bit open and something's trying to seep in, with the Luon it'll actually pull that in because the water will get absorbed by the wood, but the Asdel kind of wicks it away so it'll just fall off and it won't get stuck inside your wall, and you won't notice any bubbling because of that. As we come along the side, this R-Pod is gonna have a spray point on the outside, which is gonna be a plug-in for some fresh water if you're wanting to maybe clean off the muddy feet or even just cook on the outside. You do have the propane quick connect on the bottom as well. So when you plug that into a barbecue on low pressure, um, it's gonna be pulling from your propane tanks right at the front. And they did add in this little table piece here so you can move that to wherever you want. And you're gonna have a little station to be able to work at. Your power awning comes all the way out and you do have the LED strip going along the top with the outside speakers to create that outside ambiance if you are cooking on the outside or just hanging out. What's pretty cool about this R-Pod is you actually enter right from the back of it and it is the only R-Pod that's gonna have these solid steps for you. So super easy to access coming in and outside the unit and really stable. So when you're coming inside and out of the unit, you're not gonna shake it around. You're not gonna have to worry about them moving or bumping. It's really stable and right onto the ground. As we walk in, you'll notice a little bit of storage on your right-hand side as soon as you get in. And you do have your big fridge plus freezer, which is gonna run on your 12 volt. The furnace on the bottom there is just, if at night it gets a little bit cooler, you're gonna be able to kick that on and get that warmth running throughout the unit. Your bathroom is right to your left as soon as you get in. And it is a dry bath. So you have your full shower surrounds and toilet in a separate area. Couch area on the side, as soon as you're coming through with storage above. What's really nice on the R-Pods is they do have a deep storage on them. Some you'll see with a side storage, but they're not big enough to fit a plate and you kind of have to have it in there at an angle. This one here is gonna have lots of space for you to be able to store all of your kitchen supplies. This table here actually flips down and this bed piece flips over to create a big bed at the back here. And if you take those cushions off, someone could sleep across the side here if you really wanted to. You do have a little bit of extra storage underneath that couch area too, because our pod just takes any space that they can and they put storage into it. On your kitchen area here, you're gonna have the TV storage above and you do have the roof mounted AC on this one, keeping it nice and cool on those hot days and you're not taking up any side storage with the side mounted AC, it's all through the roof. Big basin sink, and this is nice and deep for cleaning any big pots and pans, or even just if you have a bunch of dishes that you do need to clean, they're not filling up too quick inside the sink. Two burner stove with a flush mount glass top on it, so when you're not using that stove top, it's just gonna be extra countertop space. And you do have your convection microwave here, so it doubles as your oven when you are needing to cook things. And our pods all have the central vac system too. So you have the central vac here, if you're wanting some attachments, and it does have your foot pull as well. So as soon as I lift that up, it starts sucking up air. So you can just broom it in and suck it in right there, set and play, you don't even need to touch it. Well, you will need to have to pull out the empty bag after, but that's all. I hope you guys like the R-Pod 153. If you're wanting to see it in person, make sure you stop down at the dealership and come take a look at it. Thanks guys.